Hey guys, how's it going? Stoutman coming back at you once again, and today I'm going to be talking to you about a Blu-ray that I pre-ordered, actually, and finally got in the mail. If you pre-ordered this in the, like, deluxe special exclusive edition, then you got a bunch of extra stuff with it, and you got it a couple of weeks early. I did not do that, so I got it, you know, on release day. I got the regular edition on release day here of... The Thing from Scream Factory. Of course you gotta have The Thing. I already have the regular standalone Blu-ray, but... Of course I'm gonna get the Scream Factory version, because Scream Factory does everything better. <laughs> I knew nothing about the special features when I pre-ordered this. I knew nothing about the transfer. I knew nothing about anything other than the name Scream Factory and The Thing. That's all I knew, and that was enough to sell me on this. No joke. I'm not even just being, you know, silly. I'm not just, you know, saying this because it's a thing to say, whatever. No, I, this is serious. I ordered this off the basis of two names. The Thing and Scream Factory. See, that's what collectors like me will do when you become a good enough manufacturer of home media all right that's a note from me to you to companies like warner brothers or universal or whatever just keep it in mind guys that if you actually cared about the people you were selling your product to we might just see a title like this and a name like this and just immediately pick it up knowing full well that what we're going to get is going to be a very good product see when you have that kind of a reputation, it makes it a lot easier for me to just blind buy something, to pre-order something, to put hard-earned money down, more than $20 on one release simply because of that name and that name. I just wanted to get that out of the way. A little bit of a rant, just a tiny bit of a rant, but yeah, uh, uh, obviously, how can you go wrong with the thing? This is... A fantastic release as you can see it's got the slip cover here gotta love slip covers and then when you take it off of course I reverse the artwork so I could have the original artwork which is beautiful of course My original artwork is fucking fantastic and then what I really liked about this release one of the things I really liked here is that you've got the feature film on its own disc here and then all the special features on another disc which is nice because from what I can tell at least, I didn't get a chance to see the special features yet, but from what I can tell, one of these special features is actually another feature length documentary, kind of like what they had with Dawn of the, or Day of the Dead. So that's pretty damn cool, and I actually wanted to get around to watching that, but I didn't have time before making this video. I do apologize. I would have loved to be able to talk to you about that, but I did watch the movie. I did watch the Blu-ray here before actually doing the review, so having seen the movie a million times, well not maybe a million times, but having seen it several times, I can tell you that it's fantastic. The transfer is goddamn gorgeous, all right? The original Blu-ray release is not as good as this. And I can tell because for the first time ever, the matte painting that you see when you're seeing the, uh, the spaceship in the ice, you, most people might not even know that, but yes, when you're seeing the spaceship in the ice in this movie, it's actually a matte painting, all right? And it looks so goddamn good that most people wouldn't even be able to tell that. And they even do an effect that makes like the light change, the light changes, so the color of the snow changes on the painting at that exact same time. And it makes it look even more realistic when in reality it's just playing with the painting, so to speak. But that being said, you can tell this transfer is so clear, so perfectly crystal clear that you can tell it's a painting. And some people might say, well, that's I don't want that. That ruins the immersion. But if it's only something you're going to notice if you're like a avid film buff like me. And avid film buffs like me are just going to be blown away by the fact that it's so fucking gorgeous, you know, that you can, it, the fact that you can tell 
means it's a really good print of the film. And yeah, I absolutely love it. I love how good this looks. And the, a lot of people were taking issue with like the color timing or something like that. Honestly, the color timing on this is really fucking nice. It's exactly what I would have wanted from the film. So even if you might have a problem with it, I think it, it's perfect. This is the release of the movie that you want to have. But I will say that there are apparently some things on this particular release like one or two small little things, as in like there's something that they cut out of, I don't think Scream Factory cut it out of there, but it was cut out of the commentary at some point. There's like a line of dialogue that was cut out of the commentary at some point that didn't make it into this release that's on the DVD release. And it's like that's the one thing, or one of the very few things at least, that's missing from this release. So if you really want that, I guess you could pick up the DVD and just get like a triple pack Blu-ray case and put it all in here if you really want to. Or just keep the DVD somewhere if you really want that extra line of dialogue or whatever from the commentary, you know. And I'm sure that when uh, Zaren Izrak gets around to doing this video, this uh, video about the thing, he'll mention that himself and he'll go into a lot greater detail than I will. So if you want to know more about that thing that's missing, talk to Zaren Izrak. He will know. Go watch his video on this if he's done it by now. If he hasn't, wait or talk to him, and he'll tell you exactly what I'm talking about. But that being said, honestly, this is just a beautiful, fantastic release, and I think everybody should pick it up. It's especially a good one to watch during winter because... It's a horror movie that happens in, you know, Antarctica in the snow during a really cold time of year. So if it's like really bitter cold in your house right now and you don't and the heater's not working or something like that and something's on the fritz, whatever the case may be, this is like the perfect creepy movie, movie to watch for that kind of a time. Especially if it's like rainy or snowy outside. It might not be snowy yet for a lot of people, but Right now, I'm experiencing, like, a windstorm outside and a lot of rain. So it was just, like, the perfect time for me to watch this. Oh, this is a movie all about not being able to trust anybody and feeling isolated from the rest of the world. Fucking perfect for that kind of time. <clears throat> for that kind of experience, I should say. So, disc one indeed includes a new 2K scan of the interpositive supervised by the director of photography... Dean Cundy. It also includes an audio commentary from Dean Cundy, and it also includes, of course, the original audio commentary by director John Carpenter and actor Kurt Russell. That's the one that has the thing cut out of it, apparently. Uh, theatrical and teaser trailers, TV spots, radio spots, and still gallery. That's just on disc one. Disc two includes new interviews with cast and crew, John Carpenter's The Thing, Terror Takes Shape, a documentary featuring interviews with John Carpenter, Kurt Russell, plus members of the cast and crew. The Making of The Thing, outtakes, new network TV broadcast version of The Thing, three vintage featurettes, vintage product reel containing a condensed version of the film with alternate footage, behind-the-scenes footage, annotated production archive, production and art and storyboards, location scouting, and more. This is feature packed it is a fantastic release and if you love this movie you owe it to yourself to get it if you haven't already fucking buy it man and it's it's just came out right so it's going to be more expensive than a lot of other ones but the nice thing about scream factory is that they do all these really beautiful packaging releases and they do releases that have a bunch of special features on them so you're always getting your money worth, even if you have to spend 20 bucks to get it. So, yeah. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Heck, I would recommend this over Invasion of the Body Snatchers, which I also recently picked up. If you had to pick between the two, I'd say get this one first. But I think they're both worth picking up. I just think this one's better. <laughs> I like the thing a little bit better than Invasion of the Body Snatchers, quite frankly. And uh, this is a beautiful release with... Beautiful new artwork here. I do like this artwork. So yeah, that'll uh, just about do it for me. I, I, if you don't know what the thing is about, then god damn it, go watch it. 
It's fucking fantastic. Anyways, that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. Peace.